What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. On today's episode, we're talking about the cheapest DIY ice fishing flasher that you guys can make right at home. Awesome, affordable, and it'll catch you guys a ton of fish. So let's dive right into this thing. All right guys, so first off the graph itself, this is the Garmin Striker 4. I believe it's around 150 MSRP. I'll put it in the video right here. But uh, I bought this a couple years ago, looking at some other YouTube videos about a very cheap ice fishing fish finder. I know they have flashers specifically, um, but you know, growing up, I did a lot of blind staring at the ice hole and that's no fun. You got tip ups, which is nice, but when you wanna fish and jig, you definitely wanna have a fish finder, a flasher style fish finder for ice fishing. So, you know, the flashers are a little bit pricier. I'm sure you can find some around this, but uh, this is an awesome graph too for throwing on a boat, a John boat I had it on for ice fishing, um, for a kayak, all around awesome graph for the price point. So um, first off, Garmin Striker 4, we have that graph. Um, most of the time, or unless you buy it with an ice bundle, it's gonna come with an ice transducer. If not, it comes with the normal transducer to mount on a boat, which you can do. I used it for a couple seasons. I just made a PVC T. You just make a PVC pipe with a T to prevent the transducer from falling down the hole. And you just, the transducer is small enough to go down, I believe a six inch hole, if not definitely an eight inch hole. And of course, a 10 inch hole, but I literally used the boat transducer that came with it for a couple years. And then I got the ice transducer, which is around, I think $80, $90 to add, which is just easier, less chance of your line getting wrapped around it, losing a fish. And it's just faster to drop right in the hole. This is a float that comes on it. You can adjust it and then it, uh, adjust the length on how much the transducer goes down into. So what's nice about this is you can run the flasher mode on this screen as well. And then I did that for a little bit and then learned that the A-scope is even better. Um, A-scope is a constant rolling feed of your screen instead of a circular flasher sty type style screen. Um, but either way, it has the modes that you need to be able to um, thoroughly ice fish. Um, it's great for using, um, checking your depth when setting your tip up. Um, I now have a live scope transduce or live scope, Garmin live scope for ice fishing, but honestly setting tip ups, I love bringing this with. It's lightweight, it's easy, it's fast. I can drop it right in, make sure that my bait is a foot to two foot off the bottom when setting tip up. So if you guys already have a live scope, it's actually nice, you know how heavy that setup is. So it's nice to have this quick and easy setup. So mounting it, I actually just got one of these ammo crates from Cabela's. They make a little bit taller ones. This one's a shorter one and it runs, I don't know, like 10 bucks, maybe 15. And it's super easy, flips right open there. And um, as you can see here, there's foam in here and I just grab like foam for putting in an AC unit in your window just to keep the battery off the ice. So what I run is a 12 volt lithium battery, which as you see, I forgot but just a little 12 volt that battery runs it all day, probably multiple days to be honest, especially with a lithium. But um, it goes right in here and I have the two connectors in here and my extra transducer wire and power cable. And then I just have it thoroughly lined with some of this foam just to keep the battery off the ice so it doesn't get as cold and you know last to the full potential. But that's literally it. I just add some foam up there, added some foam up top and Clip it right in, we're good to go. This right here is a super fancy spray paint cap. Um, I just took an old spray paint cap, plastic. It won't really break in the winter. I've fished it many times and it won't even break in the cold, flexible. And that's just for putting my transducer when you have the ice transducer. When you have the boat transducer, mount on the PVC T, it has to come with you, you know, hold it the whole time. But if you have the ice transducer, literally, Super easy, cheap, just screwed it on there to hold it. All the wires just go right into the back here. Um, if you guys have a glow cup um, from Vexilar, it makes a glow, club, a glow cup for lighting up your jigs that are glow in the dark. So I had this mounted here and I ran that wires right into here and then that connected to the battery as well. I can run the glow cup and the graph all day, no issues, which is now on my live scope unit, which I'll grab here in a second and show you that one. So as you see here, I got the nine inch Garmin. I picked up a second one. I have one of my kayak now. 
I want two on my kayak for tournament fishing next year, but tournament season's over, so I mounted this one on the ice shuttle I had. This was custom made. Um, my stepdad's a welder, and I created a, a model to base off a lot of the other shuttles on the market, and he made that one. So this is custom. Fits a 30 amp hour battery in here, and then in a little extra slot. But I'm gonna make a video um, comparing the two of these if you guys want. I think I'm gonna make one. And uh, But just wanted to show you that glow cup is right here, and it's just a, an open, literally whole cup that you turn on with the battery and it's like an infrared light and it uh, lights up your glow in the dark jig. So I had it mounted right here, um, which putting it in places and stuff, it sticks out. It got caught on a lot of stuff, but it worked. Um, and the handle still works on this. You can tilt it up. But honestly, guys, this thing is legit. Like I said, guys, for the money, you cannot beat this for a DIY. Super simple. The bin's probably 10, 15 bucks at Cabela's. The ice transducer's extra, but you don't need it. You can use, make a PVC pipe T to mount the boat transducer on. I'll link everything in the description below, guys. But if you're looking for an awesome, cheap DIY fish finder flasher for ice fishing, especially with Black Friday sales coming out this week, check it out it's super nice if you're beginning into ice fishing it is a game changer just to have an extra graph to be able to check depths and you can always use uh your phone with navionics and the other mapping apps to then find where you want to go and then help this get you on the fish and you can see the fish come up um so yeah i fished with this for a lot of years and then last year i upgraded to the live scope and that's a whole nother whole nother awesome setup but way heavier way more time consuming where this thing is a run and gun awesome little thing and like i said i still bring it every time to just set up tip ups it's way easier so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already please subscribe down below check out the sales for these garmin strikers if you guys want one i highly recommend it for your first ice fishing graph fish finder um yeah put it on a kayak put it on a john boat in the summer and then use it for ice fishing in the winter Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.